Hi everyone! In this video, we will discuss how to install and authorize the included plugins Air Hybrid and Sonavox Wobble, as well as cover how to set up your MPK Mini MK2 with Ableton Live Lite. Start by going to akaipro.com to register your MPK Mini MK2 and download Air Hybrid and Sonavox Wobble. Once downloaded, you will find their installers in your Downloads folder. Navigate to your Downloads folder and inside you'll find installers for Wobble and Hybrid. For our Mac users, you should see a package installer for Wobble and a .dmg file for Hybrid. Simply run the package installer to install Wobble. Double click on the Hybrid DMG and run the setup file inside to install Hybrid. For our Windows users, we'll want to start by first unzipping Hybrid. You should be able to do this by simply right clicking on the installer and selecting Extract All. Make sure that Show Extracted Files When Complete is checked off so that the extracted file inside pops up when it's finished. Click on the folder that comes up and run the setup file inside to start the installation. Before installing, take note of the location where your plugin will be installed. This will be important later on when installing Wobble and assigning our plugin folder in Ableton. Right now, this is directed to our Program Files Steinberg VST Plugins folder. This is my preferred plugin folder, so I will choose not to change this. If you do change this, make sure to place it in a secure folder and not just on your desktop. For our Mac users, this portion is not necessary. Plugins are automatically directed to store in a default system location. When you're ready, click Install. You will be prompted to restart the computer, but for now, just close the installer and proceed to the Wobble installation. To start the Wobble installation, simply double click on the setup file or package installer for Mac. Follow the prompts until you reach the page to choose your plugin location. Use the Browse button to change this to the location where Hybrid has been installed. Continue to follow the prompts and click Install when you're ready. When the installer is finished, click Finish and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Now that your plugins have been installed, let's open Ableton. Start by selecting Options at the top and selecting Preferences. For our Mac users, you'll want to select Ableton Live Lite at the top and then select Preferences. Before setting up the controller, Click on the Audio tab and check your audio device settings to see what Ableton is using to playback audio. You'll see that I am currently using the built-in sound card on my computer. I can find this by selecting MME DirectX from the driver type and then finding the Speakers option in the Audio Output Device menu. For Mac users, you should simply have an option for built-in output. If you have an external audio interface, this is where you can select your device's driver as your output device. Check with the device manufacturer for an exact setup procedure. For our purposes, I will leave this on my built-in sound card. No input device will be necessary here, but you can choose to select one if you'd like. Next, navigate to the Link MIDI tab. In the first available control service slot, use the drop-down menu to select MPK Mini from the list. Set the input and output options to MPK Mini MK2. I also like to set the takeover mode to value scaling. This tends to make the software parameters react more evenly to the hardware control. In the MIDI port section, turn on track to receive keyboard and pad input from the MPK and remote to receive control data from the MPK. Finally, navigate to the file folder tab to scan in and activate your plugins. Before scanning, make sure to have your authorization codes for Wobble and Hybrid ready. You can find the codes above the download links on your account page. You will be able to copy and paste these directly from the page. When you're ready, use the Browse button to find and select the VST folder where you have Hybrid and Wobble installed. 
For our Mac users, click on the button next to Use System VST folder to turn it on. Ableton will start scanning your plugins immediately upon turning the folder on. You will first see the Hybrid Authorizer appear. Click on Activate and copy and paste your authorization code into the fields. Next, you will be asked to provide your email address or to use an iLock account. We recommend creating an iLock account if you do not already have one. This will make it easier to keep track of your licenses later on. If you'd like to choose this route, simply enter your iLock account information or select Create New Account and follow the prompts to set up a free account. On the next screen, select your computer from the list to store the license on your computer. If you have an iLock connected, you will also see the option to store the license on your iLock. Press Continue and follow the same procedure to authorize Wobble when its authorizer appears. Now that your keyboard is set up and your plugins have been scanned in, it's time to start making music. In the main window, you'll see a plugins option under Categories in the top left. Click on this to display your available plugins and you will see Hybrid and Wobble appear to the right. To open the plugin, simply double click on it. Ableton will create a new track and our plugin interface will appear. There are a few things to note here. First, the Record Enable button can be used to turn the signal from your keyboard on and off. If you have several plugin tracks, you can use the Record Enable button to choose which track is being played. The MIDI From menu can be used to choose a specific device as the input for a track. This may be useful if you have different MIDI keyboards and want each of them to play a different track. For now, just leave this on all ends. At this point, you should be able to press the keys on your keyboard and play your plugin. But before veering off, let's set up the knobs to control your instrument. If you look to the bottom left, you'll see your Ableton device. This is what Ableton uses to communicate with your plugin. Use the small wrench icon to open and close the plugin window. Use the drop down menu to select a new preset from your plugin. Click on the arrow icon to open the parameter menu. You can click and drag on a parameter to move the corresponding parameter in the plugin. More importantly, the knobs on your MPK Mini will automatically map to the first eight parameters in this menu. This is because of the control surface map we chose earlier. This allows you to control your plugin directly from your keyboard. In another example, you'll notice that some plugin's parameters are not automatically imported by Ableton, but this is still very easy to configure on your own. Open Hybrid by dragging it to a MIDI track or to an open space in the Ableton mixer. Click on the arrow, and in the Ableton device, you'll notice that there are no imported parameters. To import your own parameters, simply click the Configure button and start moving parameters in the plugin interface. You'll notice that these are automatically imported into the Ableton device. Similar to before, the eight knobs on your MPK Mini MK2 will control the first eight parameters in the list. If you click on the Configure button again, you can rearrange the parameters, which will assign them to different knobs, or delete them entirely by pressing the delete key. And there you have it. You are now ready to start making music. Make sure to refer to the Ableton website for more info on using Ableton, and find more MPK Mini tutorials on the MPK Mini MK2 product page.